Hey, it's Zana. So I want to talk about habits and routines and the key thing that you need to do before you can change or implement new habits and routines. Because this is something that I've been working on for this whole month. I feel like certain um, aspects of my life become the main focus each month without even like meaning to or trying or whatever it just kind of happens and this month it's been about habits and routines because I've really been feeling like I need to implement a morning routine and an evening routine and I feel like whenever you go to create a new habit sometimes it can be really hard to stick with for me I would always try and make new habits and always try and shift old ones and I just would never ever stick to it like <laughs> I would always give up and then beat myself up for giving up. So I realized that the key thing that you actually need to do in order to get habits to stick, like in order to feel inspired and motivated enough to actually implement them and stick with it and be consistent, you need to really take the time to be still with yourself in the morning. And like I always would do this, but not really with intention. So I've realized it's actually key to like have the intention behind what you want your day to be like you know like when you wake up in the morning you can easily wake up on the wrong side of the bed and be in a bad mood because our minds always like to create a story as soon as we wake up and sometimes I wouldn't want to get up in the morning because I knew my mind was going to create a story and I'd be like let me just stay in bed a little bit longer because I don't want to be in a bad mood which is really ridiculous and now I realize I can actually take control of that instead of allowing the mind to have that much power over you where like you worry that it will create a bad mood you know when you actually have control over that and over your mood so I've really realized the key thing before you change anything else is to actually start your day by like really getting in tune with how you're feeling and what you're thinking and why and then what you want to be feeling and what you want to be thinking and what your main focus for the day is you know so I've said many many times that stillness is key and I've said it in the podcast as well validate me that I do with my best friend we always talk about stillness and meditation and like just being in tune with yourself but I'm realizing how important that is for just like how you feel and how you carry yourself and how you move throughout your day you know so if you are trying to change a habit say you want to like incorporate more healthy foods or something or you want to start working out or you want to dedicate a certain amount of time to work towards your goals and your dreams like in order to feel inspired and be consistent with that you need to actually have sat still with yourself and like I, I want to say it's like nurturing yourself you're like looking after yourself you're parenting yourself you're seeing how you're feeling you know you're seeing if there's any fears or any worries that are going on in your mind that day you know and every day if you do that every day you're able to shift it to where you want it to go and it becomes easier and easier and oftentimes I realize when I'm very very scattered and I'm not focused and I'm not achieving my goals it's because I haven't taken the time in the mornings or it doesn't even have to be in the morning it could be any time I haven't taken the time to stop and be like okay I'm feeling scattered right now why am I feeling scattered okay I'm feeling doubt because I haven't done this and I'm like disappointed because I haven't achieved this and I feel like really distracted because I've got this and this and this to do you know when you actually become aware of those things then you can kind of calm yourself down and then like prioritize which thing you need to focus on at a time you know so it really is about calming the mind, calming your emotions, calming your entire being and being able to like move it to where you want it to go. And the key to do that is to be still with yourself. And I definitely think the mornings are like optimal time to do that because that like literally that determines how your day is going to go you know because it determines your mood determines how you'll then carry yourself, how you'll interact with others and like how productive you'll be. So yeah, this is kind of a quick video. It's just something that came into my mind while I was meditating because I've been stretching quite a bit in the mornings now and I've realized how important it is and how powerful it is. So if there's a habit that you want to change, make sure that you're really getting in tune with yourself first because then it will be easier to make the choice to go and implement that habit. Like if it's you wanna have a smoothie in the morning, when you're being still with yourself, you're really in tune with how you're feeling. And so then when it comes to making that choice to make that smoothie, you'll be able to push your mind into the space of wanting to do it, if that makes sense. Otherwise, like if you're not being still and stuff, 
this movie's probably going to be the last thing on your mind. Like, and even if it pops in your mind, you might just be like, oh, I can't be honest with that. Because you're not taking control of the thoughts that you have and the why you want to implement it. It's just a really powerful tool that I'm learning and it's not just about meditation, it like, because meditation is allowing your thoughts to flow and then letting them go, you know, it's allowing all of the thoughts to come in as they would, but not attaching to them. And I feel like um, that's really key to calm your mind, but then also set your intentions, also hear your thoughts, but then like, almost create the thoughts that you want, you know, so it's like, okay, I want a smoothie today, why do I want one? How is that going to make me feel? And like really thinking about all of these things and intentionally thinking about them, you know, to encourage yourself and build that momentum. So then you go and take the action. So yes, that is it for this video. All of my links to music and social media will be in the description box below. Definitely leave a comment if you have any ideas of videos that you want to hear or see, any topics. It doesn't just have to be about like the mind for this series, it can be anything, you know. And my DMs on Instagram are always open as well if you need any advice or just want someone to talk to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold